Uh, our fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign that takes part. So <laughs> our fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Counter here now. Our fifth edition Dungeons and Dragons campaign that takes part almost entirely underground and in the dwarven hold of Skygate. Oh, man. Last time there was a party. A party. <laughs> uh, there was partying done. Uh, plots. Uh, unveiled, thickened, and otherwise uh, interacted with. Oh, there's um, plots thickened. <laughs> uh, some people seduced Lots some people some people were seduced by other people I assume I don't know uh, well, one of you danced with a queen wearing a wrestling singlet <laughs> uh, less, less than a wrestling singlet way less than that is the name of my heavy metal wrestling singlet cover band less than a wrestling singlet it does get close that's, that's what makes some of the best I think you just elbowed that it still looks in her eye though um, but <laughs> it's just the, the party is over. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Uh, you went for a lovely night stroll with uh, Prince Warbin Crag Crown. Uh, the rest of you uh, went on back towards the um, Inverted Peaks, your guys' office slash apartment area. Um, with the Warbin night walk at the end of this <laughs> evening, uh, do you have any ulterior motives other than a pleasant walk part ways? Good night. That makes it sound like she's gonna mug him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't put it past you, scumbags. <laughs> ah, now that we're alone, <laughs> give me all your dough. <laughs> <laughs> nice helmet, dude. Secret assassin. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, she's not a bard at all. She's oh, a assassin. <laughs> 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 Written the bag. <laughs> We're just going on a night stroll. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the others of you will arrive back to the Inverted Peaks apartment, uh, and I assume you're kind of just heading towards your um, rooms. There's so much room. setup to us going to bed. What's about to happen? Yeah. As you guys get back to the Inverted Peaks <laughs> apartment, you kind of walk into that main lobby area. It seems like Honey Flipbeard has gone to bed for the night. No one's at the desk. There's still some rock candy out there. Um, and then leaving that main select, you have to kind of walk across the, the bridgeway to the next one that is like the larger one that contains all of the offices and the rooms and stuff. Uh, and as you open that door and the five of you walk... Hmm? <laughs> What about the This is completely unimportant. Okay, so, uh, walking onto the bridge, uh, you're taken back and, and have to kind of freeze frame for a second. As you see on the edge of the kind of walkways on the two sides, like the kind of ledges on the two sides of the bridge, an individual crouched. <laughs> looking over the city. I was really, there I was hoping it was just the grappling hook and he was still trying to climb up. Because then it would have been like, yeah. cut the grappling hook. <laughs> and uh, as you, the door opens, they, they kind of like... Uh, Notice that there's like a jump, but then like a re revert back to the pose, and then turning and glancing over, you see the Crimson Fox. Who How will long say, have you been sitting there? That's not important. <laughs> now that speak quickly, a long time. and you better have some worthwhile information. I don't like being pulled away from my city. Who summoned him? What? <laughs> You're what is it that you need to share with me? What have you unraveled about the disappearance plot? Oh, it's probably slavery. It's almost certainly slavery. It's almost certainly slavery. It's oh. definitely the Ivory Syndicate. Right. Most of it is slavery. Right. Very Probably nice. drow, drow slavery. Would you like some rock candy? I already had some. <laughs> 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 you see this? Oh, he's doing this. He's doing this. He's doing this. He's doing this. Yeah, like a blue ring. <laughs> 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 on the edge of his lip, you can definitely tell he's been. He's probably had multiple handfuls while waiting. He's like, oh, this is noticeably more. This is my This sugar crowd is good. I was wondering what happened to all the rock candy. He's gonna say, I need more detail than this. You couldn't have simply summoned me here to give me non descript and non specific information. Again, who summoned you? Why do you keep breaking into our house? I do what my city needs. <laughs> All right, you know what? I don't what know. other information can you tell me? Uh, 
I'm too tired to be dealing with this. I'm just going to push past him and go to bed. <laughs> He's up on the, you can walk right down. <laughs> I'm just going to walk right by him and go to bed. <laughs> okay, okay, um, I'm trying to remember what we learned. Um, some of the people are being sold to a hag. Uh, Magic and gifted people, especially. And children. And children. Um, then uh, one of the clan leaders is in bed with the Ivory Syndicate. We don't really know who. I have an idea. We have extremely vague suspicions. <laughs> uh, we don't really know who. Completely founded suspicion. Um, we didn't really necessarily learn all that much else. Concrete. There's a lot of money in it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Bahag, you say. Mm-hmm. Swamp Teeth. Swamp Tooth. Swamp Teeth. Well, I think, I think a coven. I think how many teeth are we talking about here? <laughs> I think it's a whole coven. I think it's swamp tith. I don't know. I saw no more of the Cleveland swamp tiths. <laughs> 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 oh, if there's right. anywhere where the swamp tiths would be. Now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, oh, you just sound like you're saying swamp tiths. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going. I wouldn't put it above Eric's name to have a character named Swamp Tith. <laughs> That's, That's definitely a, a lizard folk uh, like witch. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. Interesting. Hag. There's a new face in the city. Someone I hadn't seen before. A watcher from the north on the trail of a fiend. She believes these disappearances to be related to this fiend. Watcher from the north on the trail of a fiend. Perhaps she could help unravel this conundrum. Perhaps there's a connection between the fiend she seeks. And it's high. Erickson's cl- <laughs> crimson fox face. Like, yeah, you do the voice, but he also does a face. I don't know what's going on. It's a very specific crimson fox it's face. It's a very character, and I can't yeah. focus on it. It's just like it's joking, but you know, I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Why must you speak in riddles, fox? What's he saying? Start strangling him? I was thinking about if I could make a shove action with my mage hand, but unfortunately it is. <laughs> um, are you still are you still in the singlet? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, yeah. We're all still in our party clothes. Yeah. Um, Unless you maybe give those back, but I don't know what I want to change. You are still in the singlet. <laughs> that reminds me that this bastard cost me thirty gold tonight. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. You had a bet? Yeah. <laughs> oh tell yeah. Him. Don't tell him. You did. Yeah, because yeah, you do owe me uh, ten gold. I, I I believe I paid that out with you. Yes, you did. Sack. The I'm crimson fox is in going to say. Thank you, Akna. She the right in the city only. No, that's her name. <laughs> Akna. Akna. She like arrived it's... only recently in the city. But he, she speaks this thing. He said, seek you, but it sounded like he said, thank you. Like he was calling out of us, Akna, and I was just like, what the fuck? What? What? Who's Akna? Oh, you are really lost, my friend. <laughs> Mr. Fox, right. have you been eating Agna. mushrooms? <laughs> Not recently, no. I've got, I've got two jars. You can't eat from the other jars. It's bad. Um, Akna? She is staying at the Moon Drop Inn, near the entrance to town. Is Does our... anybody else find it concerning that he's like stalking people? Or... I wanna, I wanna know how he actually manages to know things about people. But if we brought him up to anybody, they'd be like, "Who the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah. He's just got that. It's that uh, innocent civilian thing where, like, you wander around just like you just look Listen, like a, listening yeah. to the guards' idle dialogue. <laughs> yeah. to get Who's this su- commissioner Gordon? <laughs> exactly. Oh my god! That's what I want to know. That poor you know, it's not us, is it? Is it us? You have to tell us. God damn it! We are Commissioner Gordon. It's like a law or something. The, the way uh, Erickson is playing this, I just think of. Hurry, Tits. <laughs> Can't we trust him? <laughs> no. Where are the other drugs? Yeah. So where yes. are we? That's it. That's Crimson, what's specific. Crimson Fox is much more where the, the high pitch where the other drugs are going bad and bad. the, uh, yeah. um, the, uh, scary face. <laughs> Hard face. All right, now put them both together and what do you get? Two no. face. Yes, very good. What did you do with Harvey and scary face? <laughs> uh, all right. So now, if you have no other information for me, the city... She never sleeps. And I, forever watchful watcher, must 
Can I, like, can I, like, open, like, does the door swing out or swing in? He's, like, standing on the edge of the, the bridge. bridge. So right. the door will In the middle. You can't oh. hit him with the door. Damn. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna open it. And if you, like, <laughs> smacked him right now and put, like, you would be pushing a man to his death. If you really <laughs> like to die. try and murder him, who knows if he's gonna like, No, I'm excited to see the path he takes out of this building currently. <laughs> sure. We will probably just be Well, because it looks, it looks like, oh, he climbed up on his bridge, but he's gonna get up and walk past the like, we, we know he ate all the rock candy, which means he came in through the front door. <laughs> I'm just gonna open the door and be like, hey, get the well, hell out of here. So. <laughs> He'll kind of glance back and be like, I can see, you have no other information for me, and this is all I can provide for you. If you have anything more worthwhile, please, don't hesitate to summon me again, but only if you have something worthwhile. When did we summon you? Yeah, we summon you? Who summoned you? With my signal! What the fuck? Hey! <laughs> he jumps off, landing, and then, like, kind of throwing his cape as he jumps and lands, like, kind of three-point stance in He's... the middle of the bridge, and then he comes walking towards you guys and kind of... I'm <laughs> 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 keeps running past. I'm absolutely <laughs> not moving out of the way. And, and he's, like, he kind of, like, runs in and has to awkwardly shift one way or the other, and then runs past... Freezing a second, grabbing a rhyme full of rock candy, and then runs out the front door I just, onto the streets. I, I'm, yeah, and, I, and I'm picturing like the the Skyrim companion when they're when you like kick them out of your party, they're running back. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what I'm picturing. Right, with the same awkward pathing and like running in and backing up and running in and shuffling between you all and off. <laughs> Into the, the night next, goes the Crimson Fall. I'm, I'm gonna look at Axel and be like, "When did you summon this asshole?" <laughs> I honestly don't remember. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think we summoned him at all. I, I'm worried that the next time we see the Crimson Fox, it'll be at the dentist, because he's going to have a freaking cavity from all that rock Well, if we, want to figure out, if we want to figure out who he is, all we have to do is wander around the city look for somebody to <laughs> oh, go to a dwarven dentist. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got me stone teeth. <laughs> I got rocks for teeth. Rocks for teeth. Rocks for teeth. Rocks for teeth. That's, That's why we call him old gray teeth, because <laughs> he's got cement teeth. That's actually kind of cool. That would be pretty red. Th- noted. Much like the dwarven window. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a, it's a you know, uh, it's called the window, but it's right. it's uh, lovingly referred to as the dwarven window. Oftentimes uh, in the city, it is a bar that exists if you'd like to go there. You have a character has rocks for teeth, but every single one is a sending stone. Ooh, and he has to like lick the tooth, <laughs> <laughs> and he can like talk. I need help! I need help! I need help! <laughs> <laughs> and he has a big network of people he talks to. With his That's teeth. pretty interesting. Mm-hmm. Noted. Uh, Character idea. <laughs> or each of them are like pearls of power, and he like licks the stone to get the spell uh, that he has uh, stored in it. Man, man eating food is gonna be a bitch because he's just gonna be him as, like, calling people. He kept leaving him as laundry, so he needed oh, a way that he could keep him yes. secure. <laughs> huh? Shit, uh, I haven't died yet. After you, you blew up that Chinese laundry <laughs> max. <laughs> um, but when I as he dashes into the night, into the night, the streets, uh, you have no other interruptions. Yeah. Like to go ahead. I'm going to bed. I'm I check like, my window is... to make sure the latch is still on. <laughs> uh, the, it is your room is left in the way it was before. The small scratches where he clumsily picked the lock previously are still there, but he hasn't picked them again. That you can tell he stole rock candy. He's supposed to be a. a Paragon of justice. <laughs> he steals rock. Candy. No, it's the anti-hero thing. Like, you can beat up criminals, but if you, but he also steals like M and M's from the convenience store. Two <laughs> things. <laughs> First of all, that's what makes him relatable. In Marvel, right? <laughs> Second of all, it's the free candy jar in the it's front true. desk. Anyone can grab some. Yeah. Well, now we have to order more. <laughs> we'll go mining awesome. for it. Yeah. Do they, do they mine rock candy? I assume you just make it. In the big rock candy mountain. <laughs> 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 somewhere there could be a big rock candy mountain. Candy, 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 candy. I, have a, I have a copyright song I'd like to play right now. Uh, but that's beside the point. It's such pretty old. Maybe it's yet yeah, close. Yeah, it might be pretty famous by now. Not if Disney has anything to say about it. Uh, so, <clears throat> after a little while later, La La, La will arrive. I assume everyone's getting a night's sleep. Yep. And the next day arrives. This time, yes. Um, you know, I think I like this. I think I'll just keep it. <laughs> you're fired. It's, it's, no, 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 you can't walk, fire me. Walk, no, no, no. walk into McElroy's <laughs> office and wear it. You're fired. It's my morning yoga outfit now. Do <laughs> well, you call it a firing or a mutant? It, 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 it certainly seems to be making you popular. It's true. We it might get, an we might get the, the, the you are delve or the, <laughs> the, the, the writ t- just because you're going to have a plague with the... Yeah, they're just gonna send us oh, a gift. I can't do that because it would lower my AC, so I, <laughs> it's impossible. Um, I would like to, at breakfast, 
call something of an all hands meeting. Okay. Uh, everybody who's there, if Fekoroi's there or not, whatever. Um, I just kind of want to bring up the idea that, um, like, we've been um, obviously, for the most part, so far focusing on the kind of um, business side of things with the intention of eventually going into the Underdark with the Deep Delver Shrip. Mm. But uh, those, like, various business pursuits seem to be more or less completed at the moment. We've either kind... We've kind of cut deals with all the clans we can cut deals with at present. We don't necessarily have a lot of other... Unless people want to get real creative, we don't necessarily have a lot of other of those opportunities to pursue. And up until last night, our investigation had kind of stalled. I suppose now we have another (laughs) clue we can pursue. But we do also just have access to the Underdark. And based off of some stuff we learned at the party, there we have good and potentially time-sensitive reasons to begin exploring the Underdark. So I kind of wanted to bring it up to the company sure. that I think we, we should could pursue should we do a crime. We should could we pursue a illegal ex- of treason. <laughs> uh, illegal expeditions into the Underdark if we wanted, <coughs> because yeah. I don't think the Ruby Fists are going to have any issue with us using their secret backdoor into the Underdark, especially if they're getting... If we're, one, for one thing, keeping things away from that deeper section of their mind, um, and two, if we're giving them some cutback of some sorts, which should be easy when we begin exploring the Underdark, we just... One teeny tiny problem with that that I'd like to bring up is the little thing called the planar incursion that is apparently happening down there. Right. On that particular yes. route into the Underdark. But we, <laughs> for all we know, that's cleaned up by now. For all we know, there's a giant demon down there who just is, like, eating the corpses of angels, so... Very true. But until but until you go down there and don't come back, we'll never know. For all we know, the angels marched all the way to the center of the earth through that tunnel and killed everything along the way. We, it's a blocked off tunnel. It's it we have no idea what's beyond it at the moment. Um, we just it's uh what's your what is it Schrodinger's so tunnel? It's it's Schrodinger's Schrodinger's tunnel. tunnel. The tunnel is both full of demons and full of angels at all times <laughs> until you go into yes, it because it's full of both and they're currently trying to kill each other. <laughs> That's true. Normally, the alive cat and the dead cat aren't yeah. fighting yes. in the Schrodinger's uh, in the Schrodinger's Schrodinger's cat in this case. Yes. Um, I'm just saying that that is an option we have. Yes, sir. Should because of the, the a lot of our those those sort of business ventures have been built, and if we are dealing with some more time sensitive pursuits in the underdark, people. right? That's uh, an option we have. That's true. Um, one mild problem with the rescue mission idea, if we go the illegal way, is it's like, oh yeah, we rescued him from like a drow encampment. It's like, how the fuck did you get down to a drow? Like, suddenly it becomes much more complicated. Well, then we just wait out the, um... No, you could just gaslight the quarantine the period on the way back into the city. No. Because that's the big thing that the Deep Dolphers Red gets you past, is having to quarantine and come back in from the Underdark. You just say you... You rescue them, and then they'll be like, "From where?" Be Look, like, this, you this, city's the virtually, <laughs> this city's virtually <laughs> falling into the underdark anyway. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's we also fell into the underdark somewhere else. It's also just like a matter of got lost. Hey, like they're fine. They're here. You can meet them, but they can't make a public appearance until we have this deep devils written. We go on another expedition, and then we come back, and we're like, "Look, we found these people. How crazy!" <laughs> we literally take them back out through the through the ruby fist mine and back in through the doorway <laughs> of the underdark. And, uh, we're big damn heroes. Two weeks after we rescued everybody, yeah. So I'm not saying it's a terrible. Well, I am saying it's kind of a terrible idea. What with the planar incursion, possibly, but. Uh, there's just there could be more complications that we need to think right. about. Right, I, I, it is I think just you're an opportunity. Too hard about it. I'm gonna say that you're gonna somebody has to think hard about it because the rest of you knuckleheads are gonna get yourselves killed. <laughs> well, <laughs> and exactly. where will all my money be? I think you're focusing on the wrong monsters. thing. Sure. 
You could just That's say true. You would, you would mention rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> you really interdimensional rodeo. rodeo. Interdimensional that, I would watch that. Rodeo. That sounds like a Rick and Morty, uh, like yeah. a interdimensional video. rodeo. Is abs- well, a it's uh, the name of my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, it also sounds like something Erickson would put into a festival segment of the D campaign. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Probably it, will at some point. I had, to, I had to wrestle a space well, bear. We're like, messing around with yeah. other planes That's right now, right? We have the Underdark, which is like technically different. It's not. It's kind yeah. of a technical. It's, it's, like it's a different plane. It's like a different. You're yeah. thinking of uh, the Underdark might as well be a different plane. But it would be it's, it's very alien. It's not a different I run a campaign that's like, is the like plane hopping. The oh, I mean, or like just a spell jam. That's right there. Also, you know, that's good right. times. Anyway. Is it interdimensional um, or interplanar? Either way. Interdimensional. And it basically means the same thing. is fine by me. <laughs> that's kind of how I feel as well, which is why I brought it up. Um, I do think that we Two should chase votes. down this lead real quick. Let's uh, go chase down our lead with um, I, our. I mean, what is his name? Our Lack? Carlac. Let's go talk to Carlac. I'm not giving you that likable of a. You're the heroes you're fighting in this game are going to be the Crimson Fox and lower. We're starting at C list and we're going down. Hey, I like Warbrand. I like Warbrand. You're getting Kite Man and you're going to like it. Kite Man and Boomerang Joe. So, next morning, you guys have this conversation. So, is your plan to try and. Follow up and go to Akna. Thank you. I don't know why her name. Can you like, introduce hmm. a sidekick for the Crimson Fox named Mister Fluid? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was going to be uh, uh, okay. yeah. right, but now I think that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a sidekick at some point. We'll see. Crimson we'll Fox has to be something boy, right? We'll, we'll, say, um, we'll say that for uh, Fluid the Boy is much worse than Boy Fluid. Wait, no, Boy Fluid. Um, we get canceled. <laughs> so, you all are awake the next morning with varying levels of hungoverness. Have this conversation. Sounds like the plan is chase this lead down and then maybe uh, dive headfirst into an illegal pass into the other dark, depending on. Yeah, if we yeah, watch this in the lunch, yeah. yeah, if you have time to <laughs> look, 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 there's all I'm saying is. There's the really long ladder in the, in the Goblet Castle to the other dark. There's also the secret back elevator that the Zentarum has. Yes. All I'm saying. Spoilers. Could you guys clean that up? Yeah, spoilers. What if people haven't gone there? BG3 yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, so anyway. If you haven't uh, gone there BG3 yet, there's a secret elevator to the other dark. You use the Zentarum hideout, but you can only find it if you can talk to a wolf. <laughs> uh, so. Cool. I assume the group of you then are going to this inn? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is it the same inn where we. Where that, um, that like, merchant 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 was. it is not the back. same inn, but it's in the same section okay. of town. There's quite a few inns there that people from outside of town turn this okay. Um, and there's a really, uh, like, anyone competition, like, who can get the biggest anyone sign. not from down here in Skygate, any surfacers can roll me a history check. Okay. Yeah, I'm good at those. History, history, a, a three, a three. Eight. Oh. 18, 19, 20, 21. 22. <laughs> 22. Uh, with a, yours is a 15. You She's a bard. She's getting like yeah. half, half proficiency proficiency anything. Yours is a 15. Well, well, yours is very intelligent. Uh, is in with a 15, you would recognize that Watcher from the North probably means the Order of the Watchers, which is kind of like a cleric paladin, like not necessarily holy order, but a order of people who tend to be divinely powerful who try to stop incursions from other planes and hunt ah, down fiends. well, if we got to... <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> like, demonic and aberrant things, they, they, they tend to be uh, in opposition to that. You would know specifically, like, the Order of Watchers comes from farther north, not in this section of Calvorius, uh, that it is a old and established group of what a lot of people see as monster hunters, but specifically they're, like, demon hunters. And that their whole thing is finding, destroying, and casting out demons. Is, this, is it a good idea, idea for me to go then? <laughs> what, for all the murder. But... <laughs> you know, and again, this, order, this isn't an order an of like order. this isn't like an order of paladins and clerics who all worship Helm. This isn't a, this is like a collection of people who see that as a big threat and have come together to stop that. All of some of them are just like 
statistically speaking, some of them are just like fighters and rangers. They're just people who are good at hunting demons and want to stop them from coming. I'm here to talk to you about the Watcher Initiative. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Frank with the uh, Watcher Initiative. Wondering if you'd be willing to give a small donation to help a Watcher in your area. No, it's a guy with it's a guy with an eye patch who yep. sits down with like a fighter who just killed like a, you know an invasion of tieflings or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> I'm here to talk to you about the. I'm, I'm impressed initiative. with your work. I'm here to impress the, the, the Watcher, watcher Initiative. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so arrive, you guys can walk, you know how to get to this inn, you can arrive there, and I assume entering into the inn, um, I won't make anyone roll a special check. There's a lot of merchants and travelers, this is early in the morning as far as like the daytime schedule is. There's a lady in heavy armor one with of a the wolf people, yeah, exactly. <laughs> One of the people there is a lady with like a side-shaved head haircut with like the other side down and in like kind of warrior braids wearing what looks like fairly heavy armor that has a uh, tabard over the front of it with a symbol of an eye on the center of the chest who is sitting uh, brooding over a bowl of some sort of porridge. <laughs> okay. If I was eating porridge, I'd brood too. <laughs> yeah. That's why you got pancakes. This yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's been, pancakes? Everything's been so great around here since the chef moved in. <sighs> yeah, I got a couple of extra snossages. We got a Zachary <laughs> bagel bites over here. Let's get her. And looking at her, uh, her skin looks like she is dark complected, and the hair that's kind of cast over to the side um, is almost like layered and shale like. Uh, and her skin is like a, a dark. It, at a glance, I know she's kind of dark complected. It looks like, oh no, it's like gray complected. Uh, and it looks like she's. Her earth hair is almost stone like. She's, she's an earth genius. Oh, oh. Like that kind of woman. <laughs> I like my woman like I like my. Metal. Hard. <laughs> I guess. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yes. Uh, DM, I think we need to have a discussion about uh, <laughs> boundaries at the table. <laughs> there are none. <laughs> Get back so, in your gimsuit. So, 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 how many chairs? Not gonna get with you. This is my world. <laughs> Social contract? Are we, are we not doing that? No, 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 no. You all signed the social contract, which means I get to determine the rules of your lives. Right here. We're not so no, right, right here. You didn't read the fine print. On the so, also, also, how many characters we're, we're did, uh, did Grimes Bang and Devils of the West? <laughs> enough for me to write a long poem about. <laughs> enough, enough that you offered a free level up if Jocelyn could name one of the people that Grimes and Bang are in the course of the campaign. Um, but yeah, you can tell. Pretty clearly, who Aknet is. Uh, um, I guess I'm the face of the park, so I'll go. Yeah, boss. I'll go talk with her. I'll tell, I'll tell you guys to scatter around the inn, so it's not like oh, we, we don't do the the thing where like they, we Who all. Who said that you up. could talk to people, you ugly mug? Whoa! So, you want Dang. Yeah. No, I just. Uh, want we're having a charisma <laughs> score yeah. uh, measuring contest over right. here. Right. Right. Uh, Mine is I have a Dr. Melvin? I'll take it. Oh, you guys back. got so Oh, you got Melvin's? Wow. I'll take a Melvin. Okay, Melvin over there. I'd like Melvin one of those weirdo Mountain Dews. Melvin over there. Melvin over there. Weirdo Mountain Dews. One of those overcompensating Mountain Dews. Where is the Mountain Dew? Is the mountain dew? Probably not very it cold, is but I think. Uh, I've been in there for hours. Can I have a weird Mountain Dew, too? It looks like, very fun. You're not sponsored by Pepsi Corporation. But we are sponsored by the Bogus Medical Corporation. Bogus Medical Pavilion. It's medicine. <laughs> it's, it's, it's dot 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 medicine yeah. question. <laughs> medicine. medicine? The Bogus yeah. Medical Pavilion is medicine in the way that rolling a five on a medicine check in is <laughs> technically, technically yeah. <laughs> Takes out roll of gauze, Did looks at really open wound, shoves the whole roll of gauze <laughs> into wound. I think that'll stop it. I'm gonna have one. <laughs> Um, all right, so you walk up, uh, and this individual, you know, kind of eating this porridge, and I like, kind of looks over as you approach and gives morning, you a nod. Morning. Uh, you are? I'm Axel. Uh, I'm with the, uh, who am I with? What's his name? It's been, in my defense, it's been a couple Vickle weeks. Vickle Roy, thank you. Uh, I'm with the Vickle Roy, um, well, I guess in this Vickle case. Vickle Enterprises. Enterprises, yeah. Uh... Shut up! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 You all can. Yeah. I, I can see a group is kind of hovering. You guys we didn't want to impose. Take a much. seat. Take all a right. seat. Uh, I'm we... gonna like hesitantly say because I'm like I don't know. Like <laughs> she is she, a demon hunter. Actually. She yeah. does like notice you and take note of you. Go and roll me a um, 
Insight. Insight. She just she just pours a vial of poison into a bowl and <laughs> shoves it over. <laughs> that's, it. A, uh, that's a fiver. That's a fiver. All you can tell is she does take special note of you and like seems to be like. She takes special note of you. You rolled a five. You don't know what yeah, else. I don't, she know, I don't know what else she does. She, she does he, take note of you. He notices the note, but he does not hear the organ music start to. <laughs> 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 he just, he just, he just you don't hear the Darth Vader theme slowly starting to increase the volume in the background. Uh, we had some information good. that you. I mean, well, obviously you're a watcher, um, but that you. Were, she kind of looks down at her yeah, tavern. Yeah, you were a watcher. That you would. That you were pursuing um, a demonic presence uh, into uh, Skygate here, um, and we wanted to we we, we want to hand you our demon. There it is. Uh, and uh, our source mentioned it, it might be related to some missing persons that we've been looking into down here, um, and so we wanted to touch base with you and maybe hear your story so that we could. Lend a hand, maybe some mutual aid. Um, not to ambush you first thing in the morning before right. I had your coffee. By all means. Um, <laughs> I would happily share what I know, and if we could work together, it would certainly, uh, many hands make light work and all that. But first, many yeah, spears. Kind are of like action. her eyes <laughs> narrow down on you and says, Is your name Zaraxis? Oh fuck! Uh, you got a water poster. <laughs> yes. um, I want. I want to see the water poster. How good? <laughs> I love these yeah. things. Uh, His nose is way off. I'll, I'll just kind of. I'll just. I'll just match your eyes and just kind of uh, turn it around yeah. for the door. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, yes. Taxi vision. Here, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> of course, his name is Taxis. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> I look over it. That's what I say. I look over it. There you go. I am. <laughs> and she kind of like straightens up and her hands go on the table. She slowly well, stands up. Well, I'm in the old dust. <laughs> <laughs> well, it looks like it's murder time. She stands up and kind of like, again, eyes narrowing down on you. And then her hand reaches across in like to, to shake yours. Um. Sure, why not? Like, got, she, she shakes it and she says, I heard it was you who took care of the cult of the Vistas. Fine work. And she takes a seat back down. I was told a blue tiefling, one who was uh, forcibly captured by the cult, was the person who finally brought it to an end. They were quite a terror in these hills. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I'm, like, I'm just like kind of a babbles like, oh fuck. <laughs> Anyone looking behind can see that your uh, chair has folded. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's so one like, of those, hi, I kill demons for a living. Hey, half demon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, here we go. Can you only half kill me? <laughs> well, let's kill a demon half. <laughs> Listen, if she were to kill me, I'd have to go hang out with the big charisma modifier. <laughs> <laughs> so you haven't completed your tasks yet. Um, any and she says, well, I am on the trail of a fiend. I was given a vision that has uh, shown me there is one in the city with nefarious intent, probably has been here for some time. I believe it is related to these disappearances. The uh, I've heard rumor, I've gathered information for the last couple weeks here, and heard that a lot of people have gone missing over time in this area, but that arcane individuals in particular seem to be a target as of late. I believe this to be related to the fiend I seek. Uh, by nature of the vision I was given. Mm -hmm. I don't know the specific nature of this fiend. All I know is that they are related to this and that they are somewhere in the city. We know that at least some of the kidnapped individuals with arcane powers are being sold to we assume it's a hag. We're pretty sure it's a hag. Definitely wasn't a dwarf uh, Hmm. named Something swamp teeth. We have one of her teeth somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Well, hmm. Actually, let me Let's make sure I actually roll it. Okay. Okay. Now, twisted fey incursions are not my usual, but it's certainly something that needs to be stopped if it's part of this. That being said, not all hags are fey in origin exclusively. Some are fiends. Specific mm-hmm. breeds of hags. What 
the what is the fiend. nature? The what was the nature of the hag that you know of in this? Well, she shoot a lightning bolt. <laughs> Wasn't she snake like? Wasn't she big? She was big. big. Yeah, she turned into a snake. She turned into purple a snake. skin tone, deep purple. We didn't really get. She was oh, invisible. Oh. Yeah, she was. She. When did we get it? Did we get an actual look at her? We like. I, I feel like we did, but it's been. A... I did. I think I did through my raven. Because most of the time, he got she a was... small glancer, and it was. And she was not purple skin toned. Okay. It was like kind of a um, grayish, greenish kind yeah. of. It's very swampy, swampy. Yeah, look. more swampy. She was called swamp teeth. She was called swamp teeth. <laughs> yes, that is that's it. the ultimate like whoop de bop though. Where like you, you're like ah cinder face, you know cinder bread, cinder. And then <laughs> they, yeah, like, <laughs> ice, ice beam. You're like, ice this beam. Is beam. You're like that's, that's all these somebody, potions of fire. Is this <laughs> that's somebody who's that's somebody who is not putting up with nom, uh, nominative determinism right there. <laughs> uh, they're breaking the mold. <laughs> Got respect that. Just say, hags do commune. There could be more than one involved. True. But what you're describing, how big are we talking? Large. <laughs> large. <laughs> I've heard talk of large, wicked hag like creatures before, but I don't know their nature specifically. Fair. Well, I mean, I would not be surprised, at all surprised if there was a fiend of the city. Fiend. Uh, the fiend. The fiend. Says, I'm currently trying to case the city, I have some enchanted items, courtesy of my order, that make the process easier, but only work within a certain radius, and this is a very big city. Well, we wouldn't mind uh, splitting up with you and trying to... Which one of the three? Oh, just any of them. Oh! Road. How big are these devices? Do they need to be attuned? They don't, you don't need to spend much time with them to, for them to function. There, and she kind of reach into a satchel over her shoulder and bring out what looks like, like a yay big compass. Oh, uh, I wonder if I could I can... get my uh, my raven to fly around with it. <laughs> it might be a little. It, it seems like they're like made of metal and stone. It might be a little heavy. I can for... help with the oh. evil awareness because fiends are one of the things oh. that I can sense. I can't tell where they are, but because we are not technically in the underdark, it's limited to one mile. Oh. So, if we get a ping, then we know it's within a one mile radius of where I am. That's true. I could do that at three different points in the city, I believe. Okay. You said that certainly could be very useful. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have anything particularly. So I have three of these devices. I think it just. Yeah, I nope. think it just does it once. If we could split up and case the, the city. Duration. I don't expect us to necessarily oh, no, engage no, with the creature no, immediately, no, but use it to triangulate. Um, that's that's really right. what Finding the source. Hmm. With the power of trigonometry. <laughs> 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 exactly. with problem, with, yeah, with, the, with basic math, we could figure out exactly where this thing is. Um, no, it just says for one minute per level of the spell slot you expend. So I can I can get a small I can get small areas, right. but I can do it. I, can do I mean, it a mile isn't small. No, like, well, how big is the city? Huge. Much, much larger, which is why if we were in the Underdark and it was a six mile radius, right. a 12 mile sphere, <laughs> it's pretty big. that wouldn't give us all that much information. The one mile actually gives us uh, a little bit. I'm also interested to uh, if these disappearances are related to a fiend and if a the particular fiend. clan leader is somehow associated with this, and we have the loosest of suspicions. Perhaps yeah, walking past their there. headquarters oh, would that might up provide place some to interesting start. information. Yeah, that actually, yeah. Let's. Um, I'll ask her. Kind of, is she? What areas has she kind of been? Has she been? I've been working my way from the front inwards towards the city, but as I said, it's a big city, and I'm a single person. I've got a hunch that I wouldn't mind testing. So, well, we'll split up. We'll, um, there's, you said you have three, mm -hmm. so we can just go, like, two, two, and two. It says, I would... Well, you have to take one. I will three, keep two. one with me. Um, you're the leader of this group? Yes. Well, I suppose... Mm. He's our boss. <laughs> he's not really our leader, he says, he's just a boss. You can come along with me, then. Sounds good. And she'll reach one across and hand one to you. Okay. And be like... She'll hand the other to you. Good bad, good choices. And <laughs> I'll back that up. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah, 
Let's go check out the Runehearts uh, base and see if they if we get any. I mean, they are arcane in origin, so that maybe they're just messing around with portals. But I don't think that uh, Infernal would be a thing that would. If they were, you know. You know, you, if they're getting a ping of a fiend, yeah. then they're at the very <laughs> least doing some unscrupulous magic. <laughs> right. I, like, I don't think there's any... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, don't know if those guys, I don't know if those guys are trafficking drugs, but every time we walk our drug-sniffing dog past the building, he goes ballistic. So I'm just saying, something's going on. Yeah. Oh, we, thro uh, we throw out the old sausages at the end of the day. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's a so very who's, like... who's gonna go with who, then? Uh -huh. Figure out amongst yourselves. Do you, want, do you want me to stick with you and the boss, or do you want me to go with one mm -hmm. of the other two groups for the sake of this experiment? And she will say that I, I do have, okay. apart from these <laughs> devices, <laughs> some <laughs> similar <laughs> similar to what you have in, in sensing so the presence of friends. Friends. Uh Though I don't know if it's to the same capacity that yours are. Yours might be... It might be a narrower radius, but it might be more specific direction. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> to the north, 30 feet that way. Oh, yeah, As opposed to, to in this mile. He says that plane's going over to the resistance of the gym. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll probably just say that in your head. Right. Thank God. Uh, I don't want to be a little joke. You should come with us. Yeah. I'll stick with that. He's definitely a shitster. I'll go on that. Whenever he, like, randomly chooses a person to rile up, I feel like I'm going to have some bad guy. <laughs> so is it going to be three, two, two? Mm. Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so you are going to go kind of head towards Rune Heart area. Mm. Uh, two of you, Three, where are you guys heading towards? Uh, oh, he's going to Shall we head to the forest? <laughs> 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 All right, we'll start there. Why not? Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're going to head, like... Towards the area where we stopped, like the exchange. Okay, on that theory. All right. Um, Anybody else spells brimstone as we're like walking past like the market, like a group of And that. so the group you got, and you'll see that these things are essentially inner compasses. Uh, they like you, whatever, whichever way you kind of lean them, the arrow will just point that direction. There's kind of free floating inside of there. Um, I think of I think of whatever it is I want most in life, like Jack Sparrow's company. <laughs> so, yes. uh, it, you do that and then hold it up and it points straight down from grab. You know, strangely <laughs> enough, <laughs> these things are fucking magic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Magic is real. Don't write, Compass. I do want to go into the undertone. <laughs> um, oh, work left to right. Uh, so group on the left. You guys are heading towards the family of stone. Mm -hmm. right. I suppose. So you kind of this thing out. It's it stays pretty inert, and you get like you can get up to like the the main entryway into the area, and it you know that the family of stone has a huge fungal grotto that grows like deep in it. It's probably a couple miles deep for their like their domain. Um, you get at the like entryway to it, you get no activation from. Well, I will. Well, time to leave. Let's not go in there, Jeremy. I will. Spend I think we checked it out. My first <laughs> spell slot for primeval awareness. And what are all the types? Dwarf. All of them. Dwarven, celestial, fey, fiend, undead. It's all. Uh, it's all, It's I everything know. you can think of. No, <laughs> any any creature type. Beast. What creature types are around? Just just list them all. <laughs> um, aberrations, <laughs> celestials, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, and undead. Dead. Undead. You would get um, elementals, but nothing else. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, no, we're looking for. The two of you heading to that meeting point. Uh, yeah. You head in that direction. You get out to that kind of right where that sort of thing went down. The area's been cleaned up. It looks like, or at least picked over since. No, then. this is Skyrim. They left all the bodies. <laughs> all the bodies <laughs> in their that, underwear like, are just naked. <laughs> <in their> underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and I told you they're there for the rest of our yes. yeah. Um I'll actually pick him up and do that slow drag and toss uh, into a bush. <laughs> uh, are you, I and mean, like with the compass out, it does, seems to remain inert in this area. Uh, we'll head towards the building where we last encountered it, where it knocked everybody else out. Okay. Um, you can kind of sweep this whole sort of old warehouse district area, and moving through it, the compass remains inert the entire time. Okay. Uh, last but not least, you and Akna are moving towards the rune carts. Um, you get. Start heading that direction. 
um, and you start getting closer and closer. Before you get close, like right outside of it, you're still in some of the the kind of scant buildings and stuff uh, around the outside. You notice her like look uh, down suddenly, and it seems like the compass is kind of starting to activate. Um, and you see, like at first, it kind of like it seems to be kind of like pointing somewhat at the like the direction of the rune harp, and it's like zzz, zzz, and like diverts off a little bit, not straight towards the rune harp headquarters. Yeah, interesting. We're not. Well, it makes sense not the shit we eat. So. Like, <laughs> And she's like, yeah. focused, <laughs> starts moving. All right, I'll back. I'm here for backup, so I'll back her up. And um, <laughs> kind of follow, following along, looking is like, you thought it was, and she kind of points towards the atrium that you see off to the side, <laughs> and like the big network of stone behind it. And she's like, it seems, it's, and she looks down, and it looks like it's kind of like jerking, mm-hmm. like it's having a hard time, either it's having a hard time finding or it's finding more than one thing. Mm-hmm. Um, but it kind of seems to like jerk back and forth somewhat towards the atrium and then somewhat more towards the yeah. other side. Yeah. Like Runeheart Rune Magic from. Shop. Yeah. Uh, it kind of jerks back and forth it's and then going like away from the And shop. then it like goes, it seems like as you get closer, it, it favors away. Mm. And she's like, this typically means that whatever's, there might be multiple things or that this one is closer or more powerful. I would think closer, but I'm not certain. Okay, well, let's start with that and. See if we can find this. Let's try to. I know you're kind of wearing the big Watcher tabard and everything, but let's keep like a low profile because. If a fiend sees me, (laughs) it's go time. (laughs) But I I hopefully will just find a location. Here, I'll hand her a snack. So she has has, (laughs) has temporary hit points. points Uh, Three? Three? Good to know. It's half my Um, proficiency. Before we go in there, eat this crunch. Eat this crunch. Before you go in there. (laughs) (laughs) Do you want some sausage? <laughs> <laughs> here's, here's second breakfast. This is much better than the pork. Yeah. Um, and you guys start heading in and following in on this piece of the compass, and it seems to kind of divert and push towards, uh, I would call it an alleyway. It is a long kind of stretch, kind of crevasse of stone between two large sections of building. It seems pretty sparsely populated. There's small inlets on either side. That It's like kind of like the back ends of multiple businesses or, or restaurants and the like. There's probably like trash cans and stuff like that. It's essentially a very long stone alleyway. Mm-hmm. And she's like, hold up. Hey, go take a look. And I send the <laughs> raven to... <laughs> the raven starts <laughs> flying down. Uh, yes. <laughs> well, well, roll me a perception for your raven. Yeah. Raven's perception. Extreme. Raven, go. Uh, nine on the die. I got you here. Thank you. <laughs> it's got a plus three to perception. Okay, so... so 12. Okay. Mm-hmm. He ain't seen too good. He ain't found shit. I don't see <laughs> shit, boss. <laughs> um, he does notice something. He it does seem to. Well, actually, wait. Let me see. Hey, just give her breath. Oh. Uh, it flies up and down the whole length of it, and it does not seem to notice anything. Okay. Well, let's follow your compass, I guess. All right. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure we weren't walking into like six thugs around the corner. And she starts moving in and like it's kind of straight up going straight down this uh, this alleyway. And you guys get pretty close to the midpoint of it. And as you kind of walk past the set of these like kind of inlets on either side, um, you kind of walk past and she's looking at it and you're kind of looking over her shoulder and I just kind of like, walk past it. It just goes <laughs> sharp right. And you both turn and look and looking kind of to the side of this, you can see... Uh, set into the, this very kind of dark corner back there. It's two sets of red eyes on a very small, tiny-sized creature kind of sitting in there. That's like the shadows are somewhat obscuring uh, and kind of looking at uh, at the two of you. And then I am going to need everybody besides Maddie G to leave the room. Oh! <laughs> See, I was, oh, I was really hoping what you would find would be, you know, the, the dude with the music box and the little monkey that dances in that hat? Yeah. He's got an imp He's got an imp, it's like, ah, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, like, imps are like familiars, right? So right. it could just be like, oh, they have imp familiars. It's like, oh, but... You know how hard this is to move? Yeah, I do. Godspeed. To me. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. Hey, you're the ones you get it. Bye, Dad. Bye. Bye. Goodbye forever. Don't worry, when I come back and I'm mind controlled by an Bye. outlet, it'll be Have fine. Fun your new character. <laughs> Can you make a deck save for me? Sure. One. I'll make one for her. Deck well. save. She does not succeed. Uh, dex 
save is a 16. 16, you succeed. Oh, do I need to roll one for my... No, because he's on my shoulder. He's, he's, he's considered uh, um, untouchable. So you will take four acid damage. Ouch. She will take some more. <laughs> some uh, number higher than that. And then... 27, I'm not going to... First attack. Another one each. Uh, that's Oh. <laughs> uh, you see kind of a splash of acid hit over both of your guys' back, and she kind of grabs at her sides and like lets out a scream. And then you see the 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 tip of a dark metal blade stab through her back, and her kind of uh, and like go limp on it drag out, and you turn to see a black dragonborn <laughs> holding a claymore who goes into a second attack on oh, you. Oh, shit. So she's, like, down? She is down. Yeah. She's not, she is down and bleeding out. Seems like, uh, got some sneak attack on her. Yeah. Uh, that's a 20 to hit you. 20 does hit. I do not have shield. Uh, that's going to be for 9 damage. 9 damage arena. Uh, and then I'm gonna need initiative. Alright. Initiative is a 12. Where is it? A 12. 13 beats 12. Yes. Uh, first, I'm going to need a acrobatics or athletics as this as he kind of slashes into you and then tries to shoulder check you prone. Okay, I am better at acrobatics. Ooh, that's a 4. Uh, that's a 16 on the die with yep. a plus 7 in athletics. Uh, so he shoulder checks you. And then dry, tries to drive the blade down. Which um, I'm prone, so he's advantage. Which prone, so advantage and get the extra damage. Um, that's a 22 to hit. Yep, that'll hit. That is... That's a flat 30 damage. I'm down, I'm down, down. I'm out, yeah. Okay. Um, when I go unconscious, my raven also isn't... Around. He, okay. he, he disappears. disappears. Okay. Yeah, I think that's how familiars work. You guys can come back in! Fuck! <laughs> 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 oh, dude! And the fucking you, gangs You get like, this, yeah. this blade sticks into you, and uh, as you kind of like, the light starts to fade, you can see uh, this individual kind of reaching down over with a hand towards you, and you can hear him say, the sisters in their regards. Ah! He kind of grabs the scruff of your shirt and picks you up off the ground as uh, your vision fades to black. I'll go get him. <laughs> I can, I'm, it's easier uh, for me to get out. That's right. You're tucked way back there. I'm tucked in the corner. Audience, I've been, Y'all I've been attacked. Either. I've been ambushed. <laughs> it was not a bacon bush. It was, in fact, hey, a ham It tree. wasn't a bacon tree. It was a ham. <laughs> No, you have to say it wrong for dramatic effect. <laughs> Damn. I was like, okay, yeah. Ooh, prone. Ooh, advantage. Ooh, that's probably not good. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, hey, guys. Everything's fine. Don't worry. You dead? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, but if you come looking for me, that'd be probably be fun. Okay. Still rolling damage? No. No, this no. is uh, other things. This is other things for us. Oh, I assume I don't need to rule. rule you don't need to rule either. Um, yeah, who's uh, your new character? Better no. be lucky than good. Better same good. same character, um, but don't worry about his glowing green eyes or anything. Uh, yeah, so he's, he's still your friend. Um, oh, no. So back to you guys over here. What are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> what is the next best place for me to use my... Um, Where's the seat of the government? You're there, the night before. <laughs> yeah, I should have been there. We're at the party. That would have been interesting. That actually probably would have been really interesting. I should have used that at the party. Um, I wouldn't mind doing. Oh wait! Oh, I'm putting pieces together now. <laughs> so we try. So we try the family of stone. Do we want to try the kind of client offices of any of the other clients? Yes, there's still more. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are. We need to go torch follow up on, uh, on Lalo's good boyfriend. Just make sure he isn't secretly a devil. Do you say torch throw? 
I mean, that yeah, wouldn't I be a deal breaker. You were thinking torch throat? Yeah. Let's go to the torch throat. Let's go try primeval awareness outside the torch throat. Okay. Thank you. Um, you would get draconic. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dark. I like the idea that there's a literal dragon. <laughs> like, it's like a polymorph dragon. It's just like, <laughs> it's like this is the working, best place working, in the working the front desk. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you would not get anything else there besides no. Draconic. It, he'd be guarding the vault. Let's go. What's the <laughs> biggest... Crag Crown let's, 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 go there. let's either do the Crag Crown State or let's do, like, whatever the biggest, like, kind of central market in the city is. Yeah, there's definitely the Instagram. How about this guy? <laughs> Are you nobility? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how he knows. <laughs> He's like, well, we're controlled by the reptilian, so I assume that the dwarves are. <laughs> but it's but this is but this is D and D, so there's yeah. just actually wizard folk right. hiding in the shadows, controlling the government. Um, but if hot, tall, long hair approaches, I'm not sure. That was that was, a, that was for me, Eric, to the audience. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Exactly. Um, my vote is my vote's for like whatever the biggest like kind of central market in the city is, and your vote is for the Crack Crown Estate. What does Doom what does Doom here think as a tiebreaker? Are the merchants or the government more likely to be harboring devils? I mean let's be honest, it's both of them, but Yeah. We're just trying to get tomorrow. <laughs> the government. Government? Okay. The globalists. <laughs> we'll go try <laughs> outside the uh Crack Crown Estate. Well, Estate. Well, he's, Crag Grand, right? he, he's probably home. He would probably. I mean, you don't know. He's probably out drinking. You guys are like (laughs) trying to find him, and then you have like a metal detector, like. (laughs) 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 Make sure you ain't a devil. (laughs) Why is your helmet draconic? But your (laughs) con piece is (laughs) infernal. If you're gonna dig lava, we gotta make sure you're. We gotta make sure you're on the up and up. At the, I don't think anything would ping there. Okay. Unless I'm forgetting something weird niche. Definitely no fiends. Good enough. There's devils, but there's no fiends. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't get to the one that I actually where I actually wanted to test this was um, Rune Hearts, but okay. somebody else. That's that's my last one, and somebody else jumped on that ball. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh no, we jumped on it. All right. Yeah, he jumped on a live grenade. So <laughs> back to the inn, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can you two. Did you check in anywhere else? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you spend a good amount of time sweeping that area. Cold no, let's visit. just we'll head back to the end. Okay. Um, I ain't got nothing. You guys will sit there and drink till right, it takes a, it's a little while moving around. Um, it's getting closer to like the late evening, uh, and you haven't seen or heard from Akna or Axel in quite okay. some time. Um, until I, I mean, if you guys wait until kind of the early late evening, the door opens up and somewhat limping in, you see Akna by herself. Uh, holding a, a kind of the front part of her chest what? with clearly <laughs> what is a bleeding, or a fairly maybe closed and slowed down a little bit, but what is a pretty gnarly wound. Oh, I uh, used all my spell slots and I can't cast uh, I'll go. go I'll you know, she comes like stumbling into the place. I was not. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we keep you around? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go. I'll go lay on. Oh, no, I'm gonna. Do you want a human? Okay. okay. You can both so kind of like grab the edge of the table, table to uh, stable stabilize yourself. Uh, I, just I knew. I know. I knew. Her, I her, first, her first death saving throw was a crit fail. Oh. Into three successes. I, you just they, they find the place and all they see is one last breakfast sausage. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew I should have gone with you. And she's like, you should have. We found and you how many hit points did you give her back? Roll a I I forgot how many cure wounds I had. D eight uh, plus I have healing words. Oh, roll a D four. Or two. I don't like this pressure you're putting on. Roll, roll faster, roll! Roll! She's, roll, roll, she's roll, dying! Roll. She's bleeding out! Hurry now! And you're just standing there while we're all shouting. Yeah. Yeah. Six. Plus wisdom. Um, so she gets a decent little bump back and kind of thank you <clears throat> we followed the compass near the Runeheart atrium we found that there may be a fiend inside the area of the Runeheart's fortress as well as another one outside of it we tracked it to a small or to a fairly deep alleyway found it cornered in a small section I believe it was an imp a small fiend and then I was hit from behind uh, 
a burning, searing feeling across my back and then a blade through the, through my back and crossed out of my chest. I didn't get a look at my attacker. And I didn't, when I awoke, uh, Axel, the attacker, and the Imp were gone. I stabbed her with a great sword from behind. <laughs> this, and this is why punctuation is important. <laughs> I didn't really look at my attacker, but it was Axel. <laughs> 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 <That's laughs> You're like, I don't like to blame people, but it was definitely this person. <laughs> we all agreed. It was nobody's fault. I think the new guy did it. <laughs> <laughs> Says the new guy. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go find him then. Yep. I hate it when I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, let's I mean, go I mean, disappear it, that. It does, it does feel like our hunch is correct. <laughs> oh no, I'm right on a lot of things. <laughs> she's like, I hate to ask this, but can we take a moment here before we go there? For me to gather myself. I'd like to help. What, you want a, you want like an hour for a short rest or something? Mechanically, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I would like to see the hit dice so that your DM assisting party member is more useful. We might as well, well put it that way. Yeah. I suppose we could take a uh, short rest or something. <laughs> <laughs> a quick breather, you might say. Sing a little song, a little snoozy song. A song of rest. A song of rest. <laughs> <laughs> Spike's camera. Uh, the poor swell never heard of her. Um, and then if you guys are willing to let her take a short rest, <laughs> while well, you to take a short rest, she will. Uh, yes, but I'm going to be impatiently pacing the whole time. Okay. You should. You she it. basically is going to like remove the breastplate, and you can see they're like a stab blade. What's the wound in her back look like? Because she said it was like a searing. Uh, go. You can make a medicine check. It's, it? it looks like her armor absorbed a lot of it. It kind of hit the back of her head and skin. It's hard to tell the nature of the burning um, because of her stone skin. Um, it's hard to tell if it's charred or like acidic. Yes. Or critical, critical hit. Critical hit. I've seen acid burn. Yeah. Clearly an acid burn. <laughs> Some sort of acidic acid. hit on her back. That would make sense for like from an underdark like first aid perspective to know the difference between acid, acid burn, burn and, and fire burn. <laughs> is very relevant. Yeah. That it seems like acid burn and the the wound through her back across into her chest looks like it was made by a sword. Okay. So, but it, but it, so it wasn't like a smite of some kind. No, it didn't seem like it was a smite. It seemed like. The, with a crit, you can tell, like, it's like somebody had a bucket of acid and splashed it on her back and then ran her through with a sword. Oh, that's, that's a hell of a duel. time combo. to carry a bucket that's of acid. Just, <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's, and it's, it's not a literal <laughs> bucket. <laughs> my, my next D&D character is going to dual wheel a sword and a bucket <laughs> of acid. No, it's an alchemist. <laughs> it's an alchemist joke. You just fire acid out of it. It's like a, you just put a little you pump put, on you put, a, you put, like, a, a bottle nipple <laughs> on the <laughs> jug <laughs> acid when you <laughs> make an <laughs> acid squirt <laughs> gun. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, that's, 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 that's the that's uh, artificer. Right there. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the artificer like uh, flavor for uh, for acid splash. Yes. 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 <laughs> um, well, I'll let her know that that's what it was. It was definitively like, an acid burn. Makes sense, I guess, without felt. All right, I'm gonna sing you a song. I think that it was okay. And she'll get an extra. Go and roll your d6. You were really I'm gonna do this Animal Crossing style. It's Sims talk. It's just a KK concert. Yeah, like that. Uh, um, like that song that Katy Perry wrote in Simlish. Yeah. Weird stuff. Oh my god. Um, and after a bit of like her gathering herself, patching, and she kind of like said, takes off and like puts some bandaging and stuff around her wounds, uh, gets her gear back on, and you guys are good to go if you want to roll. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. He's rolling. <laughs> we keep rolling. What if we rolling, just rolling, forgot rolling. about you and just like was like, nah. <laughs> oh man, he's gone. Now, now, now you, you want to be our new boss? Yeah. <laughs> now, all right, all right. So, so. Axel, we like you know the only person that the um, uh, Runeharts were interested. The, the head lady Runeheart was who we suspect anyway was interested in at the party was Axel because he was the only one who has like like the inborn magic. Man, they're right? gonna be pissed. So when we we like we rescue him and we bust this whole thing wide open and when we are like for the, at the reward ceremony we need to make sure that it looks like this was all part of the plan that actually <laughs> I got was kidnapped yeah. intentionally <laughs> so that we could uh, we could bust this whole thing open so you guys are heading towards the atrium okay. yeah 
Uh, should, arriving... should, should we try to summon the Crimson Fox for assistance? Uh, we don't know how to summon the Crimson Fox. <laughs> That's why I said try. <laughs> I didn't say we On the one hand, hey, Crimson Fox, <laughs> come here. You want to, you want to, you want to. Crimson Fox, hey, Crimson, Crimson, Crimson. <laughs> we just leave a trail of rock I was gonna say we build it we build a we build a spotlight with uh, with like a fox symbol on it and just shine it at the roof of the cave. We have no idea how to sell it. Apart from these great ideas, which the rock candy one is. At some point I'm going to leave a trail of rock candy. Uh, in a box of a stick. <laughs> 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 oh, a foil of a To say the best thing, to quote you, oh. in an old D&D campaign, do my snares catch any pesky little fox <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was uh, playing an awakened ape when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and an awakened ape. Um, <laughs> I also think he would just be an active detriment to us in any fight. Oh, I know. It's just so, a uh, cannon fodder. Like, like some kind of demigod or something. No. Oh, the no. Is he a Maik the Rider kind of? If he's, if he's, a, if he's a demigod. I was in trouble. <laughs> this is a really, <laughs> really, really good trouble. Really. <laughs> Now you ain't in trouble. Maybe. Well, listen. I'm, I'm just saying. It, it's like it's like how I play BG3. I get all of, like the side allies that I can, and then let them get murdered, and right. then I don't have to worry about my party. Let's, Let's go oh, get our boy. Like NPCs. Yeah. You mean piles yeah. of hit points. Okay, so get 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 uh, I go get our boy. And he so you guys head there uh, using the compass. Unlike when he was out there, from what you saw, uh, once you get close to the atrium, it directs you towards the atrium. So the impact gone home. But let's start with where he went missing, and I'll see if I can track him down, because okay. I'm a ranger after all. He'll lead you to that alleyway. Um, go ahead and give me a survival check. I've got a, just in case, I'm going to have my, I'm going to have my gray sword pulled out, and I'm just be like, watching our back. Anybody, yes. have, uh, anybody have guidance, sir? Uh, oh, I do. Uh, <laughs> hey. Man, we <laughs> two playing BG three has made me realize how underutilized guidance, guidance is. Guidance is the best spell in D anD. D guidance is my favorite spell. It's the best. Yeah, I know. I, love guidance. I am I fully aware. I've DM'd for, I've DM'd for, you, I've DM'd for you long enough to know that guidance is over fireball. I think it's really good. Over I think fireball. the strongest spell in D anD. D is healing word. That's okay. Fair. Fine. Yes, you're right. The second best spell is guidance. <laughs> you want, you want, to, know something, you want yeah. to know something pretty impressive? Hmm. Snake eyes. Snake eyes. <laughs> uh, well. What you can tell is that, well, you know, I'll say like you're a good tracker, mm -hmm. right? What you can tell, I'll say this is, it's not that you do a bad job at this. It's that the information is useless. Well, that's kind. Uh, essentially, that's nice you can see a splash pattern of acid, some blood. Uh, and you can tell that somebody was essentially laying flat on their back, got pinned to the ground by that probably that same sword. And there's like a kind of lay mark in the acid splash and a, a sharp like dig into the stonework below. Uh, that individual shapes. seems to have been lifted from there and not walked or drank or were drugged or moved at all. Uh, and the person who moved with them walked back out the alley onto the main street and disappeared in the flood of footsteps. And, and there's no way to follow them. No yeah, there was a duel. They are both masters. Yeah. Uh, there, was, there was hardly a duel, well, and they well, were well, not both masters well, yeah. in the specific like, circumstances. Well, it looks like our boss got blindsided, taken down in one, and then they stabbed him while he was on the ground and carried him away. He really went out like a chump. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, boys. Who's going to make us pancakes? Splash That's true. We do need, we need to find me like a like four. Kind of over spring 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 <laughs> splash pattern of ass. Yeah. I'll write that one down. We're on a roll with these. Three in one episode. I'm uh, I do. I do like the idea that you guys have to find and go for breakfast tomorrow. You, you <laughs> look at this. This is a time bomb. What do we eat when all our not here? <laughs> You're just like eating like raw cabbage. <laughs> uh, are you, and you guys are heading are you heading towards the atrium from there. Sure. I suppose, because we need to follow, I think our only real lead is following the compass. Following the compass. Um, as you guys enter up to near the atrium, uh, really quickly, uh, Akna is going to say, let's hold here for a moment, everyone. And she is going to focus for a second and start casting a spell 
Um, and she's going to say, and while casting the spell, for about a minute, she's going to just really pep you guys up while, ta- while nice. casting the spell, and is going to essentially be like, we've got to go in there, we've got to get your boss, and we've got to put this fiend down. And she's going to cast motivational speech on uh, the five of you, uh, which is going to give you each five temporary hit points. You at least have five temporary hit points. As long as you have those temporary hit points, you have an advantage on wisdom saves. Um, and if you are hit by an attack, you have an advantage on your next attack roll. Once you lose your temporary hit points, that effect is gone. I, so, I probably remember that. And I'll keep the spell up. To help Someone make a note of that. Are there any, any attacks? This is takes away all my temporary hit points. Do this I is on the next one. Um, huh? No, because you lost temporary hit points. Once you lose these as five, the spell doesn't affect your temporary hit points. So if I get hit by an attack that takes away the temporary hit points, let's say I got hit for six at the start of combat, you would still get the advantage on the next it attack, but you wouldn't have the wisdom advantage on saving throws. It wouldn't trigger ever again. Okay. Yeah. Um, Makes sense. This is. A, a city. True, there's a stack in the ground. Right. Uh, Are there yeah. any, <coughs> exactly. rats there there anything actually. nearby? <laughs> there's rats all over. I rats. would like to attempt rats. to catch a rat. Give oh. me a... Animal handling, absolutely. Animal handling. Literal <laughs> animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> animal handling. Any sturdy <laughs> based animal handling. Do I want to try guidance again on this one? <laughs> oh, sure, guidance. We should just no, assume I'll guidance is cast on it. I'm not going no, to let no, you no, do that. No, no, no. You, gotta, you gotta call it. You gotta call it. Uh, that's much better. That is a 15 on animal handling. Um, you can find and jump and grab and snatch a rat. <laughs> <laughs> this will make sense in a moment. I would like to speak to it on account of how I can cast speak with animals at will. Yep. Uh, <laughs> when, Oi, the fuck are you doing? Let me down. <laughs> What's all you say? Let me down. Always <laughs> the rat voice. Yeah, why have we talked to so many rats? <laughs> 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 because <laughs> because, <laughs> like, because of the hand. animal voices that Erickson does, the rat, the rat the one is the best. <laughs> <laughs> If you answer my questions, I'll put you down and give you some food besides. What kind of food? You find I'll just, like, he finds on the ground <laughs> well, a, a substitute scar sausage. Well, well, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this rat's gonna be so juiced up on temp hit points. <laughs> I produce a temp hit point oh, sausage. For the next always. hour, he's gonna be the nice. strongest fucking rat in existence. What's your order now? A friend of ours got attacked in that alley. Did you see anybody come by carrying another person? I didn't see anybody, any bigs carrying any other bigs. No bigs carrying another, any other bigs, huh? None. Mm. Toss him. Toss him. Toss him. Have you seen anybody go in that building? Lots of people coming and going. All dwarves? Not all of them dwarves. Not all dwarves? No. What else? Well... Well, I was over in that gutter over there, right. looking for scraps. Right. Ain't no good scraps anymore. Yeah. And I saw. <laughs> and I saw. I love this guy. I really want to see more about the socio-economic Real big, 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 around here are kind of short, fat beaks. Right. He's a tall, big, big armor. Black scales all over him. The dragon barn. A black dragonborn. <laughs> Acid breath. I just can't let the sausage lick it all out. We've got our kids. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish we kept him as a pet. So, so temporary hit points last until you take a short rest, right? I think like, so. I think until you regain hit points. Yeah. For the next like day, <laughs> that is gonna be the strongest rat in the book. That's how that's how the main king of the rats. <laughs> and off he goes with his, off he goes with his, with his, his lovely his, his lovely yeah. sausage. Thank you. If if Larian Studios games, both Divinity and Baldur's Gate 3, have taught me anything, it's get the pet pal per talk to every the best. animal because they will tell you so much about what's going on in the world and so much about the quest you're currently doing. Or they lead you to really weird, goofy quests, like the one where you have to feed the rat to get it to stay still so the turtle can come over and talk to it. Because <laughs> it's uh, a uh, uh, Alright. All right. Let's go Damn. They did just straight up kidnap him. Uh, yeah. Do we... 
I have a connection. Maybe I can. Is there any? Is there any possible way we can get the Sky Guard to assist on this? They probably won't take us seriously. I mean, maybe I they take her seriously, but I don't know if they would take. Yeah, the it, the problem is it's the Rune Hearts, so I eh. will be hard to convince anyone that a major clan in the city is up to something as nefarious as kidnappings. I think we just. They could just kick down the door and I have, we just oh. leave him to his fate. Don't say anything. You're not there. I'm not there. I, <laughs> <laughs> you I don't want to talk about potential to, government if connections. You, if you wanted to contribute to the <laughs> conversation, <laughs> I <laughs> think to <Yeah. laughs> Listen, I, uh... Well, I, I do, I I do have my... I boyfriend. Mo- <laughs> that honestly you know, I mean, would... Uh, that wouldn't be a bad like, idea. He, he is not a big damn enough hero to have a statue of him. But he's and like, he would probably be willing to help. I'm running. I'm going. I'm going to get him. If you want, you can. Um, you're going like back across the city to go to like damn. the Sky Guard or the uh, uh, Crag Crown Estate, and you're not sure if he's going to be there. If he's going to be out drinking. You don't really know exactly where he is. Is there any horses nearby? No. God. You're in an underground is, city. Is, no, hardly uh, anyone rides horses around here. Is, any donkeys, any beetles? I don't know. Is the, you can see an occasional bronze, person riding on a giant lizard. Is uh, the bronze, like the wall is the the bronze tap on the way to? The the atrium is kind of set in a far wall. Both the Crag Crown Estate and the Bronze Tap are pretty far away. Mm. The Bronze Tap would be okay. closer, but they're both kind of this like... At, it's like a, the, at the very... At the, yeah, I, I think we probably need to act with some haste. He can probably get us out of prison when this is over, assuming we're still that is certainly, alive. Uh, and, if, and if not him, then uh, Laz Gorka. Uh, that's just for another point. night of passion. Yeah, sure. As long as we enough. commission her a painting that's of the you thing. in I've, your, No, no, no. I've uh, gone missing. Her her one true love has gone missing, that's and we believe true. That's, that's true, but that, that still <laughs> requires us to go all the way to yeah, the Yeah, I know. Send her a rat career. Sir, take this letter. You got me tasties? He's off your dish. Unlimited tasties. Tasties. Unlimited tasties. Unlimited tasties. He's the letter. I am honor bound to cook this rat of sausage every morning. <laughs> Until he dies. Duff, <laughs> you have a rat problem. I'll have you know this rat saved the city, sir. <laughs> you will address, uh, you will address Sir Squeak the Valiant by his proper title. <laughs> um, so, what is your guys' plan? What are you doing? I have, I have my contact. Maybe, I have, like, it's rush. very <laughs> slim chance. Bum, we can't bum, sneak. Rush. Sooner or later, this turns into a bum rush. It's bum just rush, rush, let's skip the whole thing where we started it for 30 minutes. It's just bum rush. <laughs> we know we're going to end up on that. Sometimes not in this. We, we go straight in around the around like the central counter and we're like just kick in the. Just water. Hi. Just jump over the counter. Um, uh, do you guys head in? I think, I think we're going. Right. 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 We have no choice. Let's just uh, go in. I don't know if the watcher want to take wants to take the lead on this or. Nah. Say, I'll uh. I I'll, don't ca- know what to I'll say. cast armor of Agathis on myself and I'll take the lead. How long does that last? That's going to take away your other temporary hit points. It will also armor of Agathis will remove other and you will not have the effects of the spell. Oh well, then never mind. Don't oh. worry, I will never take mind. the lead. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I I will take the lead. I will go first because off chance. The person I know, we could. There's a good chance we could run into them, so I will take the lead here. Okay. All right. Um, walking in, you see the same dwarven lady uh, behind the desk, uh, inside the atrium itself. You know there is like uh, branching pathways that like come from the the, the complex and the cave wall behind. Um, those doors are closed. You can like go for a bum rush and just try and charge in there, um, but it's that same lady. You don't see uh, your connection here. Uh, but you know, he's probably somewhere in here. Yeah. She was able to get him for you last time if you want to talk to him. Is she gonna <laughs> greet us? Not she'll just, she'll like, acknowledge you as you walk in. In Baldur's That's Gate, great. I have, like, my character has a plus 16 to deception right now. <laughs> um, which is really funny, because I just walk into places I'm not supposed to be in a guard room, like, hey, what are you doing here? And the lion always gives me, he's like, what are you talking about? I live here. Oh, right. Oh, right. You go here. Um, <laughs> like, in a why would you guys do? <laughs> yeah, I'm just in random uh, places that I should not I don't be. Have, well, I live here. I don't pay enough deception. What, like, what is our, like, we're in here. Uh, now. I can what? talk to the lady while you guys... Oh, yeah, plus four to persuasion. 
I have a, I have a plus see. two to persuasion. <laughs> I mean, you won't necessarily have to, I mean, depending on what your plan of talking, if you're going to try and talk to your friend, are you, is your plan to lie to him, or is your plan to try and use that connection? Because that's two different, you might not, depending on what you do and the nature and how good of a person the person is, checks may or may not be required. So it doesn't necessarily need to be a, I don't know if I'm statistically good enough at this thing to do this, it depends on your approach. Right. That, and that's kind of what I'm trying to figure out, is like, yeah. how we want to... Because I don't think we can necessarily just ask to see the boss. Yeah. Like, we haven't had that work before. And I don't think we can walk up to this lady and be like, by the way, you kidnapped a friend of ours. <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, we, we might as well start with your friend. Yeah. Because if it fails, we bum rush. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm here to see uh, Milo Rune. Milo Rune on here. Uh, uh, you you spoke with him before. Yes. A friend of his. What was your name? Zaraxis. One moment. If the pl- her, look, chair thing swivels over and she does that same kind of message communication thing and after the while Milo will come out. If plan B like, fails. She doesn't like leave the room though. No. no. If plan Trust B- me, that's what I was thinking. I was like, what if, if she left the room? This would be if so the bar starts playing an instrument in the corner, she'll walk over and start cheering so you can walk behind. <laughs> uh, uh, so, and after the while he'll come out and be like, how can I help you? Uh, Zaraxis? Uh, Milo, I have a weird thing I need to discuss with you. So, you should go. Is there someplace private I can speak with you? Sure. What is this pertaining to? I think it'd just be best if I explain somewhere with not so many ears nearby. Fair enough. Uh, they can come with me here. He'll walk back through the door, down the hall, and uh, after winding a little bit into the complex, he enters into an office space. You can see lots of like a counter of like alchemical products and supplies, kind of chalks, inks all over. Seems like kind of a lab slash office for him. And he'll be like, take a seat. Does he have potions? Huh? Does he have potions on the wall? Like it's some ones. Do I already them label the resistance to acid? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, None of them are labeled. Uh, oh, shut the <laughs> shut the door behind him. Um, and you all can kill he'll let you all have more refreshers. Oh, that was oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I would I would like to lean against the door. Okay. So Milo kind I'm of a kind I'm of in like my full armor with the helmet <laughs> I have locked. Um kind of a weird thing. I don't know I don't even know where to begin with this. Speaking very bluntly and honestly would be my preference. Uh a group okay. of heavily armed and armored individuals are cornering me in my office at the moment. Speaking very bluntly would sort of be our preference uh, to... Then I'll speak very bluntly. I'm sure you're aware of the missing people reports going on around the city. I've heard tale. We have, uh... We have reason to believe that some... That the creature or creatures behind these missing people have found their way here into your atrium. Where's uh, where's the Watcher's... What's the Watcher's compass doing right now? It's, it seems to be pointing deeper into the complex. As, as you can see, our Watcher companion over there has a stone that allows her to pretty essentially track fiends. And right now, as you can see, it's pointing deep within the atrium. And, uh... And our boss has been... Uh, Kidnapped. Is, has been kidnapped. And a very reliable <coughs> witness informed me that it like may have been the uh, big black dragonborn. Tahu. Oh. Now, Milo, I wouldn't be ask. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to drag you into this if if there were any other way. But as, apart from essentially rushing in and causing a scene, this was our only option to. Have a conversation. Go ahead and roll me an advantaged persuasion. Okay. Honesty is uh, appreciated. <laughs> you said persuasion? Yep. There's a 20. 20. Dirty, dirty 20. 20. He'll kind of nod and he'll say, I've been a member of the Runeheart clan for a very long time. I've worked my way up. I've had to do morally questionable things, sell to morally questionable people, as you know well. I know that very well. While I find that just fine, I have had some reason to believe that our 
chief ritualist here has been involved in some darker things for quite some time as well. Um, essentially. <laughs> <laughs> I am very high-ranking here. I've worked very hard to be high-ranking here. That being said, I wouldn't mind increasing that a bit. Are you, are you telling me you're next in line to rule, take the clan <laughs> over? I am one of a short list, and if the person in charge were involved in unscrupulous things, and group of brave adventurers were to deal with that I would certainly want to be known as the person who helped them do that and have their word that that happened ensuring that for a more upstanding future the Rune Hearts have a better leader I certainly think that I... the people in charge of this city would uh, look very kindly on somebody who helped root this corruption out I can bring you to the corner of the complex where I know Valeria and her ilk <laughs> frequent. From there, the I, the I will be leaving you. Because if this goes wrong, I you much prefer not come back on to <laughs> we, I completely we, understand. We kicked out the door and yelled, Milo sent us! <laughs> <laughs> uh, completely understand. Yeah. Milo <laughs> sent us for guys, and we all died. Exactly. Like, I, I look at. <laughs> I, I nod, and I. Uh, so this is very much agreeable. Your name will not. Your name, for no reason, any other. Because it wouldn't make sense, would come up here, but as. That helps Not us. until we are valiantly succeeded. Yeah, right? <laughs> until we have successfully... <laughs> we, we agree. We will tell literally no one ever that you helped us with this. <laughs> no, 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 wait. That's, 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 not, quite the, that's not quite the arrangement. Uh, yeah. Uh, all, all the, the help we can get is appreciated. Um, Keep your heads down. Walk with me. This is much better than just kicking the front door. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, and she's going to lead you down you winding do halls. <laughs> you can hear uh, bubbling cauldrons and uh, um, arcane implosions in different rooms around you. Uh, as, he, as he winds through and eventually gets to a kind of dark, quiet corner of this complex. Uh, and in a what sort of... What are you doing? <laughs> 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 a sort of back room uh, opens up. They're torturing you by cooking back. And you can see, uh, set into kind of the end of a hallway, what looks like a fountain. Uh, you can see there is a kind of arced bit of fountain way that has two gargoyles on either side that are spewing water into the center of the area. It has like an unlit torch sconce sort of thing in the center of it. And he's going to say, this is their passageway. I know the torch, that the, that has to be lit. Uh, apart from that, I'm not sure how it functions. We can figure it out. I never saw you. And he turns <laughs> and starts walking uh, back and out of there. And with that... I think we will call this episode of Skygate to a close. Uh, next time, arriving at the the centerpiece or whatever picture comes out <laughs> for our friend here. Uh, thank you everybody for watching, and we will see you in the next episode.